Hello dear students, today we are going to do a very simple experiment to show that graphite which is present inside a pencil. Okay, so you all can see this is a pencil. This graphite which is present inside a pencil is a good conductor of electricity. You may have come across this experiment uh, in your junior classes or even in chemistry and physics books of class 7th and 8th. So let us begin this experiment. Well, before you start this experiment, you need very few things to start your experiment. One is a pencil, any pencil which you have at home. You need to sharpen it from both the ends. As you can see, I have, I have an old pencil, sharpen it from both the ends. Okay, this is one thing that you require. Second thing that you require is that you need a battery. So here I have taken a 9 volt battery which is very easily available in the market. You can get it from any electrical or even stationery store. Now this, uh, an advantage of using this 9 volt battery is that it has two slots as you can very clearly see on top. These two slots has two points and it comes with a connecting wire as you can see here. Now this connecting wire sim simplifies your work of you know doing a lot of connections with wires. Though you can do it for fun and to learn a lot of things but initially when you are beginning to do such an experiment it's very easy for you to buy this from the market okay and it has two wires as you can see here one is the black one one is the red one and the two slots if you look at this there is a bigger slot and there's a smaller slot so this connecting wire is connected by putting the bigger one in the smaller one and the smaller one in the bigger one so you can do it so you can put it like this so if you put it like this you can easily fix this on top of the battery very easily so you just have to press it a bit so your battery is ready now this battery has two terminals as you can see one is a positive terminal and one is a negative terminal so here these two wires the one which is on the positive terminal side stands for the positive one and the other one is for the negative one now this is one thing that you require another thing that you need is an LED bulb or an LED light so here I have an LED light which also comes with proper wiring as you can see here now now to go about doing this experiment what you can simply do is take a soft board if you don't have a soft board uh, you can even use a cardboard I would not uh, ask you to use thermocol which is very harmful for the nature so it's better that you use a ordinary cardboard or you can even simply use a, a hard board okay a simple cardboard and then you can just use a double tape and stick the, this uh, battery to the board now here I have already sticked it using a um, using a double tape and I have sticked it and you can see that see that the positive terminal over here is this side and negative terminal is on this side now to make the basic connections how do you go about it positive of the battery is always connected to the po positive of the LED bulb or LED light you can see here this is the positive side this is the negative side of the LED light positive has to be connected to positive and the negative has to be connected to the negative now for this I have actually inverted the battery so the positive side of this battery is this wire this red colored wire is the positive side so black color wire is basically the negative one I have pre-connected these so there's another very easy point that when you connect these two wires there's a slot there's a hole over here with which you can actually you can use a thumb pin and then you can insert it together you can make a pre-connection over here that is what I've done here one connection is done now to show uh, to first to check that whether you have made the correct connections or not positive connected to positive negative connected to negative so negative has already been connected to the negative of the LED bulb now let's join the positive ones and let's see does the current flow so we're going to join both of them together so see the bulb starts glowing it that means our connection is absolutely correct now in this connection we are going to put this pencil okay the tips of the pencil should be touching the both the corners okay so see now if when you put touch the tips it's the bulb starts glowing what is it proving it proves that the graphite is a graphite inside a pencil is a good conductor of electricity now in the same setup 
you can use the, I have another piece of graphite which has been you can see removed from a pencil so let's connect it and see whether the bulb starts glowing now see again the bulb starts glowing it's proving that this pencil lead is a good conductor of electricity and pencil lead is nothing but graphite now in the same setup you can try putting some other metals and see if it is a good conductor or not now this is the aluminium can which uh, these days are easily available in the market you get it um, during diwali so it's an empty tea light can let's put this in the circuit so in the circuit so join it from both the ends one end on this side and the other end on the other side see so it's proving that it is a good conductor of electricity and this metal is nothing but aluminium now let's try placing some other metal now you all have seen a pencil cell this is an ordinary pencil cell okay it's not working now so let's try connecting the outer plastic part does it conduct electricity just connect it let's try connecting it not the terminals but connect it here okay just let's see the bulb is not glowing proving that this is not a good conductor of electricity now i have another cell here for which I had removed the outer part. Now this particular part contains zinc children. This particular metal is zinc inside a pencil cell. So let's try connecting this. Does it conduct electricity? See the bulb starts glowing. Proving that this particular substance inside the pencil cell is a metal and is a good conductor of electricity. So just for your knowledge I am telling you that this particular metal is zinc so i hope you all will also be able to replicate the same experiment at home easily making sure that when you are doing the connection the positive of the battery should be connected to the positive of the led bulb or led light and the negative of the battery should be connected to the negative of the led light or the led bulb and then you'll be all set to go and perform your experiment very easily at home thank you